everyone, this is Rene with Neptune Cigars. We're back once again in Las Vegas for the PCA 2024. I'm standing here with Jochito Blanco. Jochito, thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you, thank you. He's from La Galera, and of course, we're gonna talk about La Galera's upcoming products. So please, without further ado, take it away. So this year, we have our Chinese calendar edition. This year's the Year of the Dragon. It's a 10 count uh, cigar, limited edition, only 2024 boxes. And the US is getting limited supply. Boxes are limited by territory, so you guys better go out there, get the cigar, because once it's gone, it's 12 more years. So, <laughs> uh, and obviously every year we launch our Gavillero, only a thousand boxes of these. So yeah, go ahead and get them. Nice. Can we expect more in the future from like the, the Zodiac and stuff? Yes, of yeah. course. So we yeah. started with the last year, Year of the Ox. It was the first time we took it as a learning experience, of course. We took that whole year to investigate the Asian market, investigate the Asian culture, because it's something that is very important to them, the Chinese uh, calendar, of course. Yeah. So we wanted to do it, you know, as close to their culture and as respectful and as obviously as beautiful from the box to the cigar. Yeah. So yeah, that's why we managed to, to do this with the nice felt inside, the Chinese uh, alphabet letter, and... Uh, what can you disclose yeah. about the tobacco used here? So it's gonna be a San Andres wrapper, uh, Mexican, and all fillers will be Dominican grown, uh, our farms, it's gonna be Criollo and Piloto. Oh, nice. A mix of the areas and uh, of uh, year crops. Nice, and the retail? Uh, retail is going to be $38 okay. for a 10 count box. Nice. Excellent. All right, Jochito, yeah. so anything else coming up on the horizon after that? What are your plans for the We're future? working very hard. We're doubling our operations in the warehouse. We're about to inaugurate a warehouse uh, June, July, 6,700 meters more or less. Uh, we're also going to prepare a farm, so we're going to have more land to farm. It's just the whole operation is growing, so it's just we're going to be experimenting with more seeds. Uh, with different tobaccos, different things, uh, bring you new new things. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. So I have one last question for you. Open-ended question, you can answer however you like. Your father's obviously very renowned in the industry, he's been around a long time, and you're, you're still very young, right? So I wanna hear your take on this. If you can change anything about the cigar industry, what would it be? I think, first of all, I think everything happens for a reason, so. But if I would, would want to change, which I feel is changing, is the perception that once was that cigars were for, you know, the important guy, the guy, you know, sitting in the corner by himself, no one approaching him. But when in reality, whenever you go to the, you know, where the birthplace of cigars, Tamboril, Santiago, you go to a factory and it's, it's all a teamwork. It's all handmade from the picking, to the curing, to the fermenting, to the packing, to the rolling, and, uh, to the ring, everything. So in the end, all this team that you have, that maybe they don't, they're not even working in the same department, so all get together to make the cigar. And I'm telling you, every Friday afternoon, myself, my father, guys in the team, we have some, some uh, nice uh, uh, little things under a tree, uh, like uh, seats. We'll sit there, have some room talk, and it could be, and sometimes people get there, some of my father's friends, bankers, it could be just another roller from another factory, and everybody just smokes a cigar, try this, whatever, and that's the reality. And cigars are for everybody, it's yeah. accepting. I've been in a lounge next to a billionaire and next to an essential worker, yeah. and it's, it's no different. So I think it is changing, Yeah. Uh, but if I, I could have, avo have avoided something, I think in the industry was that. that the yeah. real, the real uh, uh, more inclusion. You know, yeah, the, the real, the, the real industry. That's why we did La Galera. La Galera is where the cigar rollers are. That's why our size is Chaveta, Pilon. It's just things yes. that you find in the factory. It's you know every part of the machine is important for yeah. to have the proper cigar. It brings people from all walks of life together. Literally yes. everything. Bueno, Ojito, thank you so much again for taking this time no, for us. My right? pleasure, my pleasure. You guys heard it here first. Please be on the lookout for La Galera's Year of the Dragon. It's coming out. As soon as you read it or see this, it should already be on shelf, so make sure you check it out at NeptuneCigar.com. Until next time, you guys.